My ways too small, my face too cute, my game too strong, your man too close, he on my phone about these bills. Put mommy on the phone, he ain't never coming on. Look, I'm about to go in, I'ma get inside these bitches head like a sewing. I'ma lace the track in the front, make it blend in, pull that shit back so the glue ain't showing. Hello, Virgo. Coming to Dan, coming to Dan, coming to Dan. If you want to get this sneak peek behind the scenes access, we are here to discuss your life going into the month of May and during the month of May. You were one of the Zodiac signs that got the most views for April monthly reading. So here we are are okay check your chart any placement of virgo can be up in here getting back active okay so please make sure that you are following me on my socials please i have not updated anything since like january and you know girl i'm getting back into the groove of things i promise you as a welcoming gift i am running my, uh, a discount promo sale on my general readings okay they're usually 45 45 40 45 they are now 39 39 limited time only book while you gone okay all the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section and my contact information is in the description box down below so you know what's in the ramble you know i tend to run my mouth virgo so i went ahead and pulled one oracle message card to see what your overall energy is going to be going into the month of may and during the month of may it's very much in sante so the overall energy is pull back your energy and then the card that showed up on the bottom of the deck is, it's a boo-boo, okay? Um, and this for me is, it's like a mistake, making a certain mistake card. So, Virgo, I'm here to tell you, some of you guys need to refrain from making a um, bad decision or mistake whenever it comes to your finances or whenever it comes to an emotionally, uh, your emotions, all right. I don't know if y'all can tell, but you know, this is supposed to be a broken heart. Don't, don't say anything. Okay. So, you know, this is pulling back your energy from someone that you might see uh, being capable of hurting you. Could be any sort of relationship, right? Or I say finances because I know you see that past due. I know you see that past due uh, sign right there. So it could be, like I said, you needing to refrain from making bad financial decisions. Okay. Shuffle the set, girl. And we're going to get into your business just a little bit. We're going to keep our voices low so nobody hears us. Because you know people love to be nosy. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac going into the month of May? And during the month of May in the year 2024. The judgment. Knowing right from wrong and choosing to do the right thing. Right? And this is, you know, this represents for me making changes in your life that are going to be benefit. And then I want you to uh, delete all that shit. Making changes that is going to be beneficial for you, right? And then we have the cherry card showing up. So, yeah, a lot of you guys, um, I was just telling Capricorn this. Four of swords and the five of cups. Anything that you're not happy with or you're dissatisfied. I'm not sure if it's dissatisfied or unsatisfied. I think it's dissatisfied, girl. Look it up in the Webster's for me, baby. But anything that you're not happy with, unhappy with, I feel that with the judgment card and the chariot, you are going to make a change regarding it. So, uh, damn, some of y'all there was regarding a person. King of Wands, this ain't you. But you know what's behind this King of Wands? Eight of Pentacles, which is you. So, some of you guys did make the right decision and moving on from a fire air or water sign individual um specifically aries is coming to mind but king of wands can be any fire sign uh libra scorpio and cancer is out here but scorpio was very strong we got the double whammy judgment and the five of cups some of you guys made the right decision in uh not making things work with this individual anymore um why because we have the seven of swords the seven of swords showing up with the six of pentacles this for me is like you're making it work with someone who is taking from you who is taking advantage of you who is um giving you the bare minimum and i feel like that's why it's very important that with the Pull back your energy card. That's what you do. That's what you did. That's what you need to be doing. All right. Some of y'all, I see this regarding a job. Um, it's like realizing, you know what? My talents would be better useful, some, uh, more useful somewhere else. Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. I'm overworked and underpaid. That don't match. Okay.
So here guys, what's happening to the Virgo Zodiac going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 2024? I'm like, what month is it, baby? Mm, the bullshitter. Five of Swords. That's what this card gives me, the bullshitter. And in this deck, the Five of Swords represents competition. Someone feeling as though they're above or better than someone, right? Knight of Wands. So... Virgo, here you are, Hermit and the Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys have called someone's bluff. Um, there's someone here that with the judgment in the Five of Swords, this for me is, um, have you ever been in a situation to where you around somebody and they start talking shit about someone that you cool with and you got a, you, you got a dead day? Like, whoa, 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 you might not like them, but you're not about to talk shit about them around me. You, you need to go do that around another motherfucker, all right? Some of you guys, that sort of situation happens and you're able to, you know, find out like, I know I, sh I, I know I don't need to be nowhere near you, okay? Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Um... I also see that some of you guys, someone here might have tried to you heard my knee pop. That was crazy. Someone here might have tried to, like, create conflict with you. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Five of Swords. But it's like, there's no there's no base. There's no foundation. Like, what this person is trying to bring to you, what this person is trying to say about you, what this person is trying to say to you, it's malarkey. It's bullshit. It's like, are you just speaking just to speak? Like, <laughs> nothing that you're saying is making sense. And Johnny had five motherfucking apples is what it's looking like. Four pinnacles in the hermit card. I see that some of you guys refuse to even like feed uh, a feed. So, and it looked like an ego type thing. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Five of Swords. I see someone here um, try to do something to you, try to say something to you, or will um, in regards to an ego a ego thing, page of wands and the knight of wands. It's like, I don't like to be called out for my bullshit, so let me try to beat you to the punch. But with the hermit and the four of pentacles, it's like, what the fuck could you say? Okay. I don't want to say that. <laughs> this is like a person who want to run their mouth about what you do and who you be around and this, that, and the third. And with the hermit and the four of pentacles, like, first of all, I be in my house and I pay bills. You have a house? You have a house to go to? I don't want to get too deep, but it, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you really wanted to go there with somebody, you could. You could. Like, this person not ready for that. Bag, bang. This could have been the case with a fire, air, or a water sign individual. And I feel like some of you guys took the high road. It was like, you noticed what this person was doing. You was like, you know what, girl? <laughs> let me, don't let them bring you out of the time, bitch. Okay. Y'all are funny. Y'all are hilarious. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Virgo Zodiac? In the month of May, uh, going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 20. Higher fit. Yeah, it's like, girl, something might tell you, girl, take the high road. Take, take, take the high, take the high road. Uh, two of Cups is showing up on the bottom of the deck. Damn, some of y'all, somebody here tried this with a romantic situation, too. It's like... Oh, how the cookie crumbles. I think someone here tried to um, get under your skin in a romantic sense. Three of Wands. Is this light too bright? I feel like it is, girl. I can barely see shit. Three of Wands, Two of Cups, in the tower. I feel like someone here tried to make you feel some sort of way. Get up under your skin by, you know, distancing themselves from you. It's like, I'm not going to fuck with you, but I'm going to rub it all in your face and I'm fucking, I'm fucking on somebody else type shit, right? Let me tell you, the situation that they went to, <laughs> you should have known better than play with me, okay? Especially with the Hierophant showing up in your reading with the Judgment card. You know what it's giving? Judgment, Five of Swords, and the Hierophant. Whenever someone, and I'm going to use the term chosen one, whenever someone tries to do get back on a chosen one, and they never, you know, ever meant any ill intent towards that person, 
you playing yourself, baby. Tower card. Um, like I said, I think this person, whatever situation they tried to play you with, the tower, you know, so if they tried to make you jealous by dealing with another person, it's like you went from me to a bitch who ain't got her shit together. That's crazy. And you try to shove that in my face? Where am I jealous of? <laughs> jealous of what am, I, what am i jealous of girl and then you still wanting me on the side four cups it's like that's what gets me that is really what gets me okay you expect to make me jealous with another situation to where i know it's trash you know it's trash everybody knows it's trash and you still wanting me sad life man some of y'all, this took place with a water, air, or an, uh, or a fellow earth sign individual. So far, I have strong Scorpio, strong Aquarius, and we have strong Taurus showing up in the reading. But it could be any one of those elemental signs that I mentioned. Also, some of you guys might want to do something going into the month of May. But you will have to not only use your discernment, but be like... Is this the right thing to do it? Five of Swords. Am I doing this because I just want to do it? Or am I doing it because it's the right thing to do? Whatever that applies to. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Virgo Zodiac going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 2024? Four of Wands with the King of Cups. <sighs> Wow, Virgo, whether you are in a great relationship or you are just handling business, you know, being a single individual with the five of swords, I do see some hateration in the dancery because you carry that, might I say, chosen one energy. You just, with the Hierophant and the Judgment card, I wouldn't be surprised if you're someone that's outwardly vocal about your spirituality, about your beliefs, about your principles, right? You know, you, you walk around rocking crystals in, in copper, you know. <laughs> um, or it's a situation of, you know, some people can't stand whenever you believe in doing the right thing. Five of Swords, it's like some people like to be able to, like, you know, bend the rules a little bit you know it's like you can't say that you don't like these but you be scamming on the side a little bit like that's crazy but it's okay for you to do because you know you got reasons what no right is right wrong okay i ain't gonna say that <laughs> yeah <laughs> And so I feel like some of you guys have gotten hate from family. Some of you guys have gotten hate from people that you have worked with, people that you have to be around. It's like you've gotten the hate in a lot of different areas. And you just got to remember, judgment, five of swords and a higher fan, to not take it personal. Because what people say to you in regards, you know, to try to insult you speaks a lot about themselves, okay? So that's saying to where people are always like, oh, you, you think you bad in somebody, you think you bad in me. No, bitch, you think that. I've never said that. I've never said that. The way that I walk and talk must have you thinking that. But if I've never said that, how could you say that I think that? Bitch. But people will say that to you if with the five of swords, they do see you as someone that is better than them. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Virgo Zodiac going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 2024? Bow. Ace of swords with the page of wands. Some of you guys need to be careful about how much information you are voluntarily giving to people. So not everybody needs to know where you live. Not everybody needs to know what your bills look like. Not everybody needs to know where you work. Not everybody needs to know what your plans or your goals are. I'm serious. Because with the five of swords, you never know when you got somebody here who just looking to pull a, a swipe of the fox on you. Okay? Take your shit and, and use it as they own. Which, I mean, you can't help that. But I feel like you guys need to be careful about...
getting chummy with people who don't really fuck with you in the first place. They might tolerate you because they have to be around you in some sort of way or they want to be around you because it benefits them. But I really feel like it's easy to tell when somebody has animosity towards you. It's going to slip out. Like they're they're not going to be able to hold themselves from saying some dumb shit, okay? And right then and there, you'll be able to know, oh, that's not a motherfucker I need to get too close to, okay? Or talk too much around. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Virgo Zodiac going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 2024? Ten of Pentacles. Hello, Virgo. With the Ten of Cups. You know, this is like to me family shit. Mmm. Don't be persuaded to stay in something that you know is no bueno para tu. Um, some of you guys, is a living situation. Some of you guys, it's a work situation. Some of you guys, it's a relationship. It's like if you see something that you're not comfortable with going on, be okay with leaving. Be okay with being out. But with the five of swords, don't allow someone to piss on you and tell you that it's raining. Don't allow a company to tell you that this is a great place to work. But you're underpaid and overworked. Don't match, okay? Or sometimes they depend on, you know, the managers to do their job. The managers try to convince you that this is a great place to work because they're getting they're getting taken care of. They cannot come in and still get paid, okay? Is that the same for you? They could not do their job fully and still get paid. Could you, okay? Yeah, it's like God, the higher power, the universe, whatever your beliefs are. It's like them saying, you going to believe them or you going to believe me? Ace of Swords, you know I'm going to give it to you cut and drop. Okay, no chaser. You know I'm going to give you to you straight. Straight. You know it. Or are you going to believe the bullshit? Are you going to believe the lies? Okay. Hey guys, what's happening to the Virgo Zodiac going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 2024? I have got to turn this brightness down. It's killing me, girl. Ace of Wands. You got two aces showing up in your reading. You got the Ace of Swords and now you have the Ace of Wands. I don't like that's coming to mind. Let me keep it moving. <sighs> oh, girl. Um... Uh, Virgo, if certain things aren't, you know, concrete yet, you're not sure about certain things, you need to be careful about, how do you say it? Telling your business prematurely. So this is you saying that you want to start something, you want to um, go towards something, you want to accomplish something. Not everybody need to know that, okay? Work on it in silence and do your thing. Because with the five of swords, you never know who might be, you know, listening to you and, you know, reporting back. You never know who might be listening to you and, you know, running off with your shit. And now your idea is now on somebody else's page. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Virgo Zodiac going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 2024? I do see someone uh, signing on to a new contract or a new policy. Um, it could be in regards to insurance. I see it could be in regards to a lease, mortgage, um, some sort of policy. Oh, by the way, Queen of Pentacles. Hi, girls. The star. 
Yes. Okay. All the men's and the men's is right there. King of Pentacles right behind the stars. So Virgo men and women. Um, some people will pretend to be your friend and not like you. Weird, I know, but it happens. Three of Cups is here with the Justice and the Five of Swords. That's why I say that. So I think it's very important to say that you guys be able to recognize when somebody don't really fuck with you like that. Um, and take that for what it is. Don't try to force yourself to be around them. Don't try to force a relationship with them, okay? Or keep their ass at bay. If you don't like me and stay over there, don't be trying to, you know, hang out with me and shit. That's weird. Hold up. Okay. Last card. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Virgos over here going into the month of May and during the month of May in the year 2024? The Six of Wands with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's crazy. A lot of you guys will find yourself or have found yourself having to separate from all sorts of people because with the five of swords and the six of wands, you do have people who feel a certain way about you succeeding in life. Virgo, I hope you're not the hating ass heifer. I really hope you ain't because the five of swords are showing up in your reading. But Virgo, if you know you're not on that type of time, a lot of you guys have had to deal with this from people outside of you. And I swear to God, they, they want to pull the gangster out. They want to pull you out of retirement. They want to have you pop the trunk on their ass. I really feel like somebody, nobody's going to be satisfied until you really flip your fucking lid. Don't do it. Of course, I would advise against that. I don't think you should, but I do feel like the um, older you get, the more experiences you guys, uh, the more experience that you guys, um, obtain ace of swords and the five of swords, you will be able to definitely tell whenever people like this are around you. <sighs> well, I don't know if you're surprised by now, but you, you be shocked at how close it is and how close proximity it is to you. I think someone outside you also has a very bruised ego. Um, I think you sent them on their way packing. You did not want them coming your way with no bullshit. Five of swords. It's like, we're not about to argue. We're not about to do the whole playing games with one another, going tit for tat. I'm just not speaking to you ever again. And I think somebody is very hurt by that. Five of swords and the six of wands. It's almost like someone here wanted to have the last word with you. Someone here wanted to say that they got a one up on you or they were able to like get one over on you and i feel like with the ace of swords you know how you won the game by not playing hey girl you over here playing checkers bitch <laughs> i play chess okay <laughs> Virgo, this was your May pop-up peak reading. Any place from the Virgo, check your charts. Make sure you're booking the general readings, people. Okay. <laughs>